Shalom, everyone. Thanks for coming out tonight. Well, please join me in any of the blessings you wish, whether it's Hebrew, English, both, whatever your comfort level. Remember to say thanks to Rick Reck, Dan Nichols, the Maccabees, and Steve Dropkin for letting us use their music in our service. We appreciate their support. Okay, let me turn off the Maccabees here and let's light some candles. Okay, everybody get your um, candles lit. Got them? Here we go. And with me, Baruch Atar Unai Eloheinu Melech Halom, Asher Kirishanu Bumitzvah Tav, Vitzibanu Lehadlik Ner Shel Shabbat. Blessed are you, Lord our God, ruler of the universe, who makes us holy with mitzvot and commands us to kindle the lights of Shabbat. All right, put those down. Let's do a kiddish. Got your red wine in there. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech halom, berei peri hagafen. Blessed are you, Lord our God, ruler of the universe, creator of the fruit of the vine. Blessed are you, Lord our God, ruler of the universe, who has sanctified us with divine commandments, taken pleasure in us, and with love and favor given us this holy Shabbat. You chose us and sanctified us from among all the nations, and with love and favor you gave us your holy Shabbat as a heritage. Baruch atah Adonai Kadesh HaShabbat. All right, now let's do the motzi. And look what I got. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, I got there in time today. Actually, I have a standing order now. Okay. With me, Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Halom, HaMotzi Lechem Min HaOretz. We praise to you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe, who brings forth bread from the earth. Help me perfect my ways of loving and caring. Inspire me to make myself whole so that I may honor your name and create a world of justice and peace. All right. Now let's do the Baruch First we'll say the Baruch then we'll sing it with Rick, okay? Baruch et Adonai Hamvarach. Praise God to whom our praise is due. Baruch Adonai Hamvarach le'olam v'ayed. Praise be God to whom praise is due, now and forever. Now, let's sing it with Rick.
Thanks, Rick. That was wonderful. Like always. Okay, now let's do the Ma'ariv Aravim. Blessed are you, Lord our God, ruler of the universe, whose word brings on the evening, whose wisdom opens heaven's gates, and whose understanding changes the times and seasons, and orders the stars in their heavenly constellations according to the divine will. God creates day and night, rolling away light in the face of darkness and darkness in the face of light, causing the day to pass and bringing on the night, separating day and night. God's name is the host of heaven. Blessed are you, Adonai, who brings on the evening. Baruch atah Adonai hamarib aravim. Okay, wisdom and wonder, passion and instruction, story and symbol. All these things your Torah gives to us. And the more we devote ourselves to it, the more it grows and gives. What could be truer token of your abiding love than this holiest of your works and the living language that gives it form? Baruch atah Adonai ohev amo Yisrael. Now it's time for the Shema the watchword of our faith. First we'll say it, and then we'll sing it along with Steve. No, we're not going to sing it along with Steve this week. We're going to try something new. We're going to sing it along with um, Dan. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Elchad. Hear, O Israel, Adonai is our God, Adonai is one. Baruch Shem Kavod Malchuta Le'olam Vayed. Blessed is God's glorious kingdom forever and ever. Now, let's... So what would you think of that interpretation? See how different Steve's and Dan's are? It's amazing. And as we go through the weeks, I'm going to give you more interpretations. Okay. Let's do the Kedushat Hashem. You are holy, your name is holy, and those who are holy praise you every day. Blessed are you, the holy God. Baruch atah Adonai ha'el ha'kadosh. Grant us peace, your most precious gift, O eternal source of peace, and give us the will to proclaim its message to all the peoples of the earth. Bless our country as a safeguard of peace, its advocate amongst the nations. May contentment reign within our borders, health and happiness within our homes. Strengthen the bonds of friendship and fellowship among all the inhabitants of our world. Plant virtue in every soul, and may the love of your name hallow every home and every heart. Baruch atah Adonai Oseh HaShalom. It's announcement and drosh time. Well, we're changing things up again, and I shouldn't have just said Shabbat Shalom at the top of the service. should have said Shabbat Shalom and Yon Tov. Because tonight is the beginning of Tu B'Shvat, and that's what we're going to talk about tonight. But before we talk about that, let's talk about other stuff. Okay. 
One, we're getting geared up for our next uh, clothing drive. That will happen at the end of um, February. Okay. We want to do Perm, which is the middle of February, and then after Perm, we'll gear up for our next clothing drive. Okay, so be prepared for that. Plus, next week, or this week, next week, it's Friday, so I'll, yeah, I'm leaving tomorrow. So this week, I'm doing an interview. I'm going to tape an interview, either an interview or a performance, and I'm hoping for a performance from Steve Dropkin. So hopefully we'll have a live performance from Steve Dropkin for you either next week or the week after. We'll see what the production's like. Okay? And I'm trying to get an interview with another young man, and we'll see if that happens while we're out there. So, we got all kinds of neat stuff going on. That's a good thing. Now, instead of a drosh tonight, I want to talk about Tubishvat. Okay? What is Tubishvat, you ask? Glad you asked that. Okay. Tu B'Shvat literally means the 15th of Shabbat. We're in the Hebrew month of Shabbat. And Saturday, Friday night, remember, Saturday starts on Friday. Friday night and Saturday will be the 15th of Shabbat. Okay. So it's Tu B'Shvat. So what's the big deal? It's Tu B'Shvat. It's the 15th of Shabbat. That's night. Okay. Well... The reason it's so cool is some people translate that to the New Year of Trees. It doesn't literally translate that to, but some people do. Okay. This is where Arbor Day came from. Okay. What we do traditionally, we have a vegetarian Seder and we have a meal that has all the um, fruits and vegetables that were given to us or we were told to eat that um, take place in Torah. So, here's what we're talking about. The seven species that are mentioned in the Torah is wheat, barley, grapes, figs, pomegranates, olives, and dates. Okay? Now, some people just decorate their table with it, but most people incorporate it into their Seder and incorporated into their meal. Okay. Now, uh, when I was growing up, our family tradition was we always gave money to JNF, the Jewish National Fund, to plant a tree. Okay. In Israel. And I encourage you to do that. It's easy. Just go to jnf.org. They, I don't know how they do it. I think they do it with your credit card. And it's easy to do. You just make a donation. You buy a tree. I don't know if you remember, but last year, um, Israel had that horrible um, fire up north. And it destroyed a lot of the national forest, destroyed a lot of the trees. So, Israel really needs trees. Okay. Now, what's so cool about planting a tree is it's not just something physical. A tree grows, and as it grows, what does it do? It gives back, okay? A tree gives us shade. It gives us wood. It gives us shelter. It gives us food. Trees are pretty cool things, okay? So think about that, okay? If nothing else, try to incorporate some of the seven species into your meal this Shabbos. Um, well, it's Shabbos right now, but um, tomorrow, try to involve, um, involve the seven species in your, um, in your dinner, your lunch, whatever. Most people do it at dinner, okay? Pomegranates are good. Grapes, grapes are easy. Figs, olives, olives are easy. Dates this time of year. Wheat, everything's made out of wheat, okay? And, um... So see what you can do. Okay? That's Tu B'Shvat. Okay? So, now that we know what Tu B'Shvat is, let's celebrate that tomorrow. And so instead of just saying Shabbat Shalom, we say Shabbat Shalom Yom Tiv. Okay? Or Chag Sameach, whichever way you want to do it. Now, 
let's say the Mishaberach, for anyone in the need of healing, whether spiritual or physical, are blessings to get well. Say it with me. Mishaberach habatenu, makor habracha, limotenu, may the source of strength who bless the ones before us help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing, and together we say, Amen. Mishaberach imutenu, makor habracha, labotenu, bless those in need of healing with ruva shalama, the renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say, Amen. Okay, time to close this puppy out. Let's close with the Yose Shalom. Okay, let's hear Steve sing it, and then we'll say it. Yeah.
tired of hearing about it, but this has got to be my favorite blessing. I love this blessing. Hose shalom bimurmav, hu yaseh shalom, aleinu va'al kol Yisrael, la'imru, amen. May the one who makes peace in the high heavens make peace for us, all Israel. And together we say, Amen. What a great, great way to end our Shabbos tonight. So, let's play, let's end it with an Agun, okay? Let's end it with an Agun. Rick singing the Gun Chaim. And remember, we'll see you here next Friday night, 7 p.m. Shabbat Services Live. Now, remember, Shabbat Shalom, good Yuntiv, and of course, Shabbat Tov. Have a good Shabbos. Have a good Tubishvat. Have a good and sweet week. Shalom, y'all.